Hey guys, it's Key on the Movie King, and today I'm going to be doing the review of the 1983 slasher, Sleepaway Camp. Oh yeah. Angela! Alright, so the 1983 Sleepaway Camp, I'm, I mean, I'm going to say a little spoilers here and there, because, I mean, if you haven't seen it, it came out in 1983, you haven't seen it, I don't know what you're doing. So the story of Sleepaway Camp, Felicia Rose, who plays Angela, is sent to camp with her cousin Ricky. While in camp, Angela's getting tormented by everybody there. From the boys, to the girls in her cabins, to even her, her camp, uh, camp counselors are giving her hell. Things get strange when camp counselors and kids start getting killed one by one. Oh, this movie is cheesy. This is a movie that you should not be taking serious. But it's great. It's a great, fun time. I saw this movie uh, many years ago. It never scared me. But the ending. The ending was the one that kind of took me off. Like, I had no idea what was coming. And I know a lot of people before watching this movie knew the twist in the end, but I was one of the individuals that had no idea. I mean, I was recommended by a friend to watch it. He didn't tell me anything about it. He just said, you know, I was looking for a slasher other than Friday the 13th, and he gave me Sleepaway Camp to borrow, and the dialogue was making me laugh. The situations were making me laugh. Everything about it is just outrageous. I mean, Every, everything about this, this movie. This is a movie that you should just be with a bunch of buddies and sit back and watch. But that ending, that face, and everybody knows the twist, Angela's really a guy. Yes, I mean, as I said, this movie is from 1983. If you have not watched it already, I have no idea what you're doing with your time. But when this look comes up, oh my god. Who wants to stand there looking at that? And and that, that scared the shit out of me. I mean, this movie was not scary whatsoever. It made me laugh. But that ending, that ending was what got me. And the sound effects, ugh. The acting in this movie is horrible. It's horrible, but it's great. It's just great. Ricky, the, the little kid that's uh, Angela's cousin, I want to hang out with him. I just want to hang out with him. That foul mouthed little kid with lines like this I'm, Eat shit and die, Ricky. Eat shit and live. Or, excuse me, bitch. <laughs> you just can't. Kid just can't take this movie seriously. I mean, there's, there's things about it that, that I'm just so confused about. I mean, if a group of guys ask a group of girls, let's go skinny dipping, and they all say no. Isn't that the message to just throw in the towel and get back to the cabin? Not all the guys take off their clothes and jump in the water. Ugh. There's a lot of uh, male nudity and uh, homosexuality going on in this movie. They made up with it for um, Sleepaway Camp 2 because Sleepaway Camp 2 has a, a lot of nudity. And it's all female nudity, but here it's like, I don't know what's going on. I mean, there was one point a group of guys standing on top of a roof. Just throwing water balloons, wearing crop tops and stuff. I don't, I don't know what's going on in this camp. This camp is crazy. And you know, Angela... <coughs> all those people deserve to get killed by Angela because all those were a heck of mean people. I mean... We, <laughs> the thing is... I'll, I'll, I'll go back. I'll go back to that. But there's one thing. There, there's this cook, this chef in this movie, who's he's a pedophile. I mean, he's looking at these kids and he's like, Mmm, they look delicious. And he's standing next to his, um, another co-worker of his, and, and, and the co-worker, I mean, most normal people would be like, hey man, th those are kids, which he does say, he says, hey, those are kids, man. Instead, he, the guy kind of just th takes it as a joke, he's like, ha, 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 you're silly, man, <laughs> looking at those girls licking your lips, <laughs> you're funny, what the hell is going on here? Angela. Angela doesn't say much in this movie. I mean, I do enjoy Pamela Springsteen um, when she was replaced when she replaced uh, Felicia Rose for Sleepaway Camp. 
2 and 3. I like her because she has all those one-liners and everything. Felicia Rose doesn't really say much here. She just has a stare. Like, it's like the death stare. Like, when she gives you that stare, just know you're about to die. Because everyone's like, Angela, you're a piece of shit. Angela, why aren't you going in the water? You suck. Angela, why are you not taking a shower with us girls? I mean, what's going on? Did you not hit puberty yet? Angela doesn't do a damn thing. But, Angela will fuck you up. Sleepaway Camp, if you're into slasher movies, check it out. The Screen Factory release that came out, it looks great. Great. I had it on DVD, and I'm telling you that it has never looked better. So, I mean, pick it up on Blu-ray. If you've not seen Sleepaway Camp, and if you're down for some like cheesy fun, get a group of friends, open up some beers, sit back and enjoy this movie. This movie is great. I'm giving Sleepaway Camp a C plus. Bow, just like that. This is the Movie King. Thank you for watching. I want you to click the like button if you're down with Sleepaway Camp. If you're down with slasher movies from the 80s. Click the dislike button if you want to get fondled by that cook from Sleepaway Camp. This is the Movie King. Click the, the Chucky icon that's going to be um, down on this side right over her. Click that Chucky button and um, subscribe. This is the Movie King. Thank you.